Hey everybody, B1111 here once again. This time I'll be responding to Frosty Kid, and he is asking how to make a conversation happen when you talk to one NPC and another NPC starts talking and carries on a conversation. So, I've already made this because uh, the video that I made before my audio cut out. So, I won't be remaking it, but I'll be walking you through. So, first of all, you need your character, uh, your starting character, and you're going to want him on action button. So, it starts off when you talk to him. So, you put in the text that you want him to say. Then, you're going to need either a control switch or control variable. And I did control variable for this one. It doesn't really matter. But if you want the other character to say something different when you talk to this guy again, then uh, use variables. So, um, if you want this character to say something different when you talk to him the second time, then um, on your second page for this, put the variable of uh, whichever variable you're using. I use a variable 1, and I called it talk. Put that as 1. So, this uh, right here as one variable of talk. Then your second character you need to make, put him on parallel process, but you want him as the condition of that variable talk. Or if you're using switches, you want him as switch of uh, whatever switch you're using. Make sure you know which one it is. So you need the picture, you put it on parallel process, and because my condition is on the first page, he's not going to show up until the condition is fulfilled. So he won't show up until I talk to the other character. Now, if you want him to be standing in the area beforehand, what you're going to want to do is uh, you want your first page without any conditions and without any event commands. Then you're going to need to make a second page with uh, the condition and these commands. So, I have him here. When the condition is fulfilled, uh, the picture will appear, and he's going to move to the left five times, and that's going to put him in front of the other NPC. Then I put wait for move completion, so he doesn't start talking until after he's done moving. Now, you can have him start talking while he's walking, and just don't put in wait for move completion. So then you have him saying text, and he says, hey guys, how's it going? So, that's the start of a conversation. That's uh, you talking to someone, he talks back, and then it, a third character comes in and starts talking. Now, if you want the conversation to carry on further, you don't need to switch back and forth between the different events. Just because you have one character talking doesn't mean you have to use his event. So what I did here is I put in the name of the character that's talking, I usually do that for all of my text, so I know who's talking. So I have, uh, in my text, I have his name, a colon mark, then I hit the enter key, and that put me on the second line, and that's where you put your text. So I have these two guys, uh, Joe and Bob. Joe is the f guy that you talk to first, and Bob's the guy, the guy that comes in, start talking. So. After I have Bob talking, I have another one here as Joe. So, like I said, you don't have to be on the other event just to have that character talk. All you have to do is make a new text line with his name on it. And I will show you what that looks like. So, as you can see, the other character isn't there. And so you come and talk to this guy. And you can see his name there, Joe says, hi, look, Bob is coming. So Bob walks over, and you see his name there, says, hi guys, how's it going? 
Then Joe uh, talks again, and he says, Good, how are you? Now you can see that Joe turned up towards me because I'm standing up above him. But um, you can put him in directional fix or, you know, use set move root to change his direction to whatever you want. I really don't care for this just because I'm showing you guys an example. So, yeah, there you go, guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, don't forget to leave comments for me and uh, message me. I'm taking requests for whatever you want. Subscribe with the little yellow button on the right side of the screen. Uh, rate me five stars. Leave comments. Thanks to all my viewers, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Later.